What's going on, Gemini? My name is Vince. Welcome to 7D Tarot. If this message resonates, like, share, and subscribe. And for more clarity on your situation, check out your sun, moon, and rising signs. If you would like to schedule your own personal reading with me, all the info you need is in the description box below. And for a totally fresh perspective, check out my wife's channel over at Empath Tarot. You will love her. You can find her info in the description box as well. Now, Gemini, make sure you stay tuned till the end of your reading where I will pull a final message from the universe tying everything together. All right, so what do we got going on in Gemini's life? What's going on in your health? What's going on with your wealth, right? Career energy. What's going on with romance, right? Who is up to what? What is going on? We need to know. And we are about to find out. We got nine of pentacles and the moon to start off. Whoa, look at that. What do we got going on here? This is crazy. So what, what's going on? A little bit of a little bit of holding on right now to your to your wealth, maybe a little bit of holding on to your career energy, a little bit of worried about bills, worried about making an investment, maybe taking that leap of faith, you know, trying to focus on the outcome and on the journey. But I do see here change is on the horizon for you and that is a beautiful energy so the energy that i'm picking up is like right now your guides are telling you to take the leap of faith there's something that you've been wanting to do but you got to let go and right now if you've been feeling as if you're having a hard time taking advantage of some sort of opportunity that has entered your life or is going to enter your life because fear is preventing you from doing so this is the energy that this is the, the, the test that spirit wants you to really let go of right so ask yourself this is there a job position that opened up that you want to apply for? Is there some sort of investment you want to make? Is there a business you want to start? Do you want to go back to school? Is there something here that you feel as if, wow, once I do this, I'm going to be able to help improve my financial situation. I've wanted to do this for quite some time. Your angels are telling you to take the leap of faith. I do see here that you're holding on to some sort of energy and you're telling yourself, oh my goodness, I don't want to do this because it may backfire. You are thinking of what can go wrong and not what can go right. This is something we all go through, right? This is nothing new. We all go through this energy. Right now, your angels are telling you to not fall victim to this energy. We've all been there. You want to start a business. You get inspired action. You're like, yes, great idea. I can't wait to do this. But then all of a sudden, fear comes in. Boogie, boogie, boogie. Fear, fear, fear. Don't do it for pick your reason why. Now, this is a opportunity and a lesson and a test. Spirit wants to see Gemini, what are you going to do? Are you going to be like, oh my goodness, I'm going to listen to fear and have regrets? Or are you going to tell yourself, listen, fear, let's sit down and talk about this. And that's what I suggest right now. When you sit down and you sit down with fear, right? And you talk to fear and you tell it, listen, I'm not going to listen to you, but instead I'm going to listen to source. I'm going to listen to my higher self. I'm going to listen to God, creator, you know, a uh, 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 spirit, right? Things change because fear only is able to prey on people and us when we're in a lower frequency. But whenever we're in a high frequency, it can't. So for example, fear is a bully. Fear says you're going to fail for, pick a reason why. Let's see, what's, what's the flavor of the day today? Oh, you will not be able to start a business because you don't have experience and you are going to fail. Great. Now you can either feel that energy or you can sit down and be like, hey, fear, let's sit down and have a chat. All right, so what was that again? I'm gonna fail, why? Because I don't have experience? Oh, okay. Well, let me guess, there's millions of people, if not billions of people who've started businesses that did not have experience and they were successful. What makes me different? Do you see where I'm going with this? Now you're like, what the heck? Yeah, you see where I'm going with this, right? Don't let fear scare you. Fear is nothing more than a barking dog. A little chihuahua. Rah, 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 rah. But whenever you take a look at it and go, what's going on here? Right? What the heck? Why am I scared of this loud noise? It can't do anything to hurt me. That's when things change. Right now, by not associating yourself to fear, this is very, very important. By telling yourself, I am not my thoughts. I am not my feelings. I am not my body. I am not my bills. I am not my any of this. You are not. 
your spiritual being filled with unconditional love. Some of the experiences we have are joyful. Some of them are painful. You're here to collect data. That's it. Any mistake you made in the past was so you accumulate data and you apply it to your next journey. Simple as pie, right? But whenever we get caught up in fear, we are living the, the familiar past or the predictable future and that siphons energy away from the present. Now, letting that go, I do see here that there is some sort of change about to take place in your life. And this change is going to lead you somewhere new. And I do feel like this, whoever, wherever this place that you're going, this is the place that you've wanted to go for quite some time. So first and foremost, understand that you will be potentially moving, you will be changing jobs, you will be meeting someone. There's some sort of energy where you're going to leave whatever it is you're currently doing and then doing something else. Now, this is beautiful because your angels are telling you that this is some sort of change that you've been waiting for right? Out with the old, in with the new. Embrace this, welcome this, love this. Change is exactly what you're looking for, right? It's like changing your clothes, changing, you know, the foods you eat, changing the shows you watch. This is natural or organic to you. But understand that when we feel this change, we feel uncertainty. That's when fear sets in. Fear is an illusion. Fear is actually excitement. It's all perception. And right now, your angels are telling you to go with the flow on this. Now, I also do feel like there is someone that's going to be coming into your life and this person is going to have more of a mystical energy, whoever this is. There's going to be something about this person and you're going to be like, I feel like I know this person from somewhere, right? That's very interesting. Like, where do I know this person from? That's because your chances are you probably know them from a past life. You've probably been in their energy before in the past. And whoever this person is, there's some sort of reason they're entering your life. Maybe they're here for you to collaborate with. Maybe they're here for you, for you to network with. Maybe they are here for you to learn something from. But I do feel like spirit is bringing this person into your life for a reason. Now, dolphin spirit came out. This and that are true. Very interesting. So right now, your angels are definitely telling you to really look between the lines, right? Like, don't, don't focus on what your eyes can see, what you can smell, what you can taste. Don't worry about what is third dimensional energy of particle of matter. Don't worry about what you can see. Look beneath that. Think in terms of energy, frequency, and vibrations. This is very, very interesting. Why is that? Because right now, everything you're looking for, money, your soulmate, it is nothing more than energy. Everything is energy. Why? Because it's an opportunity. This is a fractal holographic universe you live in, right? This is literally made out of Adrinka codes. It's ones and zeros. So what does this really mean? Right now, you're the co-creator of your reality. So when you stop thinking of, how am I going to do this? When is this going to happen? Why is this going to happen? That is lack. And lack, you don't have control over, right? Like you don't control over when you're going to meet your soulmate, how it's going to happen. You don't have control over any of that. One day, you're going to be at a coffee shop. You get tapped on your shoulder. Someone will say, hey, hey, I ordered the same drink. Is it good? You'll say, yes, it is. And at that point, they'll be like, whoa, I like your energy. Would you like to go on a date? There's your soulmate. So you don't have control over when that happens. But what you have control over is your energy. When your energy is in a high vibration, your soulmate enters your life like that. Super easy. That's it. So the question is, is when do we want to raise our vibration? Right now. How do we raise our vibration with how we think and how we feel? What is that going to get us? Everything you're looking for. This is the game. Life's path is simple, but it is not easy. I repeat, life's path is simple, but it is not easy. And when you look at it from that perspective, everything gets easy. All right, Gemini. So I'm going to pull a final message from the universe. Ah, universe, final message for Gemini, please. Right now, the message is culmination of vision. Look at that, culmination of vision. And this is number 35. And the message is time to take a positive action toward your goals and dreams. Be adaptable and fine tune any of the details of what you are creating. Reflect on your desires and make sure your attitudes and beliefs are in alignment with what you wish to accomplish. Let go of any aspect or quality that no longer fits what you intend to accomplish. So out with the old, in with the new, right? Ask yourself, what is it you're looking for? You need to have a clear and concise image, right? So for example, if you're like, I want to meet my soulmate, you can't just be like, oh, whatever that is. No, no, no. You are walking into a restaurant, you're placing an order. You're going to say, I want this, 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 and then your waitress or waiter will tell the chef and prepare it. Why did I say that? Because it's like you don't walk into a restaurant and say, I want food. You know what you want. You tell them that. Same thing here with spirit. I want a soulmate who is 
from South Africa with blonde hair, blue eyes, or who has an accent, and I want them to be 40 years old, and I want them to have a dog, and their dog should be called Rover, and then I also want them to drive a Jeep, whatever. Figure out what you are looking for. Then spirit will deliver that to you. Again, something that we got to work on, right? Because we always feel like spirit knows best. Sure, but it's your life. And because of free will, spirit is waiting for you to give direction for your angels and guides. All right, Gemini, I hope you enjoyed your reading. Hope there was a message in here for you. If there was, like, share, and subscribe. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Till next time, honor your soul.